Hello, everybody. As always, thank you so much for watching. It's the American Doofus Show. Don't be a doofus. If it's your first time watching, um, we do a lot of different things on this show. Um, this particular episode, we're going to highlight a few stories and uh, just kind of make sure everyone knows where we're at as a country. Um, we often have guests on. We've had panels. Uh, we do uh, we restream live streams of events. So um, please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when an episode is uh, going to be on and uh, like, comment and share if you would. Again, uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to start out um, this episode where we left off the last episode. And that was... Uh, the last episode, we had uh, Tree of Liberty on with uh, bringing his uh, unique perspective for uh, people to uh, analyze, uh, postulate about, speculate about. Uh, some agree with some parts, agree with, uh, disagree with other parts. It was, um, it was kind of a um, um, kind of varied response. And um, if, hey, if you'd like to be on the show and if you'd like to um, speak your truth about um, what you believe, uh, send me an email, americandoofus at gmail.com. Um, so in the, uh, in the last episode, um, we mentioned the MAGA war bride or the MAGA bride um, and um, her warning of civil war. And I just want you to hear this. Is it us against them? Is that how you look at it right now? Um, right now, I look at it as patriots versus everybody, right? Yeah. I mean, you, you either love the Constitution, willing to stand for it, willing to fight and work for it, or you don't, you know? Okay. So um, the Constitution states that there is an election every four years, and a president is uh, instated inaugurated after that election. Now, they're claiming support of the Constitution, but according to the Constitution, all of that has happened. What they're wanting to do is treasonous and overthrow the government. It's dangerous. It's just a question of how many of them are there, and uh, that is yet to be seen. Um, I've, for almost a year now, since the first, uh, the first talk of of Trump not stepping down if he were to lose the election. I've been talking about this, reminding people that uh, something like this could happen. And um, based upon the numbers of views that, uh, that some, of their, um, some of their videos get, uh, there are a lot of people uh, that are at least uh, paying attention to the QAnon type videos. Now they're only up for just a few hours. Some are up a day, some two days. The majority up or majority are up just for a few hours and then they uh, disappear. And uh, next episode, we're going to break down uh, one of those um, one of those episodes. Uh, I wanted to draw your attention to um, one other um, thing that kind of ties in with this. This is uh, um, this comes from CNN. A, a couple of uh, Mainstream sites now. Um, the first cut was from uh, the Young Turks. Um, I was on the Young Turks back in uh, 2016 out of the Philadelphia, uh, Pennsylvania uh, National Convention, but that that's a different story. From President Trump in a rage after an Associated Press investigation finds just 182 cases of potential voter fraud out of the more than 3 million Arizona ballots cast in last year's presidential election. When Fox News mentioned the findings, Trump responded, and we put this up on screen, Fox News and other media outlets incorrectly side with the outdated and terrible Maricopa County Election Board to report no fraud found in the presidential election. They spewed the gross misinformation purposely put out by the county and the Associated Press. Okay, uh, so 182 cases of, um, of potential fraud um, out of 3 million Arizona ballots. And, uh, and keep in mind, um, some of those were um, fraudulent in favor of Donald Trump. There were, uh, there were ballots cast um, that favored President, then President Trump. Uh, so 
it's important to understand this and know this because there, there are people saying that, you know, there are 74,000, there are 182,000, there are all these varying numbers of, um, of votes that, uh, that were tarnished in Arizona and therefore uh, former President Trump should be reinstated as, as the actual winner. This is not gonna happen. They're trying to do things legally, okay? They're trying to, they've tried the courts, uh, th these QAnon sites are broadcasting that that uh, Chief Justice John Roberts has been um, has been arrested, that Nancy Pelosi has been arrested. All of these things that that simply aren't true, trying to drive up a reaction from um, from people that that have been buying in um, to a big lie. For, for a very long time. And it's a dangerous situation. It is a dangerous situation for all of us. And um, we need to be aware of it. Um, and, and in my opinion, we need to push to stop it from going any further. And um, I'll be talking about that in, uh, in the next episode as well. Um, got one final thing I wanna share with you and um, I'm just going to point you in this direction. I'm not going to actually um, play the uh, play the whole video, but um, it is worth a watch. And uh, and what I'm talking about is a uh, Washington Post article: um, "Invisible Surveillance: How Spyware Is Secretly Hacking Smartphones." Um, so, again. Um, the, I'm just drawing attention uh, to a mainstream media story that needs attention. Normally, we don't do mainstream media stories here. We talk about things that aren't getting enough attention, things that aren't talked about. Uh, but these uh, these past two mainstream media stories, the Washington Post story right here, uh, gives you an idea of um, how people can use uh, surveillance on you and in uh, in uh, hacking smartphones and. Um, you know, we've uh, talked a lot about, uh, you know, about how what is said on the Internet is dangerous, potentially, depending on what you're saying and, uh, and who's listening. And, and it's, um, it's very, very um, irresponsible um, to talk about things that you, don't, that you don't know about or you don't have facts about. And it can uh, it can lead to problems and potential danger and damage uh, to people. So um, we're in we are in a dark world. Uh, these are dark times. There are people that um, that are waiting, um, and and many of them are referring to themselves as patriots in some sort of delusional manner that uh, overthrowing. The government, the uh, legally elected democratic government of the United States, is somehow patriotic. Um, of course, the United States did the same thing to Iran back in 1953. We overthrew their uh, democratically elected government and and put the Middle East on a course that um, that it remains on, that of uh, instability and. Uh, always on the verge of, uh, of mass war. And whether that was intentionally or not, that was the uh, consequence, intentionally or unintended consequence. So um, there are those even in, in, in our own government who, um, who think what, uh, think re, think trying to put Trump back in is a great idea. And, um, and in my opinion, those people ought to be uh, um, ought to be locked up because uh, it's they're talking about sedition. And um, if it were if the shoe were on the other foot, there wouldn't be any question of of what was happening. And that brings me to my closing story. Uh, tomorrow, the first 
uh, sentences will be handled, handed down to uh, people that uh, tried to take the capital, uh, successfully did um, invade the capital and, uh, and caused a lot of damage and, and caused some deaths. Uh, the first sentences are gonna be handed down tomorrow, Monday, the, uh, the 19th. And uh, the rumor is that, that for felony convictions, they're going to get 18 months. Now, um, normally it would be three to five years for such an act. And um, you have to wonder why uh, the rumor is anyway that, that leniency is, is going to be given to these, uh, to these people. Um, if they are, put in, if they are uh, put in prison for 18 months, they'll get out in 12. That's right before the next election. Is that really a good idea to, to let a bunch of, of still very pissed off people back out right before an election? Um, I don't know, just something to think about. It's the American Doofus Show. Don't be a doofus. Do like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. And um, if you are a subscriber, again, hit that notification bell. If you'd like to help support the show, it's American Doofus, all one word, dollar sign American Doofus. A um, lot, of, lot of causes out there, a lot of people trying to raise money. So uh, um, I don't talk a lot about it at the moment. All right, we'll just leave it at that and say, uh, if you do want to be on the show, um, by all means, email me, American Doofus at uh, gmail.com. It doesn't mean you're going to be on the show. It just means if you'd like to be, uh, email me and, and we'll see if we can uh, uh, see if um, we can fit in something, either a panel or an interview. And uh, if um, it, it, it is a very dark time, it really is. Um, it is the 18th of July, the, the 13th of August, Friday the 13th is when uh, Trump is supposed to be um, reinstated according to the pillow guy. And um, that's a whole nother episode as well, the, the my pillow guy. Um, the people that are, that are um, leading, if you will, the, uh, the um, Trump movement. Um, and I said the next episode, I'm going to dissect one of these uh, Q videos. And um, one of the things they talk about is a new national system being, uh, being implemented and a global system. And they use, uh, they use initials for those two. And, and we'll, we'll be talking about those things. But um, a lot of people form, firmly believe that this is going to happen. And um, while some think it's cosplay and some think um, it's all talk and it'll be online, um, I'm personally not one of those people. I think things have already started to happen. We've seen uh, in California a story about um, a, a plan to uh, um, a plan to uh, blow up the Democratic headquarters in Sacramento, California. Um, people were caught with uh, with mass weapons um, near a federal building in, uh, I think it was LA. So um, you add those with, and, and these are just very recent, and you add those to a police officer in Terre Haute, Indiana was shot and killed in uh, outside of a fed outside of the federal building in Terre Haute, uh, mistaken for an FBI agent. Uh, you add to that a maid turned in uh, um, a man and an accomplice in Chicago that um, had an arsenal in their hotel room ready for a, a mass killing, and then um, uh, in. Um, I believe it was um, Minnesota or it, no, I'm sorry. It was Missouri. I believe it was uh, a maid once again, 
um, saw something and said something. And um, this was just outside of uh, uh, a baseball game. And then yesterday, outside a baseball game in Washington, D.C., there was a shooting. So um, the concept is that um, they cannot legally, legally um, justify reinstating Trump, and especially if there's only 182 votes in, in Arizona. So um, you can't do it legally, and they're too far into it to stop. So it's going to have to be illegally. And, um, and what I see coming is uh, trying, to, trying to create chaos wherever and however possible uh, so that and these people are, are delusional, but they're not, you know, they're gullible. They, they've swallowed this vast, um, you know, that's supposed to be a, a, an anonymous, uh, a, an anonymous video game. And um, it's turned into something that is uh, terribly, terribly dangerous, in my opinion. And they're going to try to create chaos with the concept that the country will demand Donald Trump come and, uh, and fix it because he's the only one who can, he's the chosen one and a lot of crazy stuff. Just want you to just, I'm just giving you things to think about, just things to be aware of. Uh, that's what this episode is tonight. This is, um, just giving you things to think about. And, uh, we're going to keep talking about this until uh, until it's no longer a problem. So, again, tomorrow night or uh, possibly tomorrow during the day, depending on how, how things play out, um, going to break down a QAnon video and uh, talk about it, comment on it, and uh, give you something to think about as we always do. So, until then, please. Um, do try to be a light. Try to share some love. Try to try to uh, uh, try to be a positive influence on somebody. Try to say something nice. Try to expand your mind. Um, and if you're a viewer of this program, then keep expanding your mind. Um, if if you're a closed-minded person, chances are you haven't watched this before and probably aren't watching now. But if you're a closed-minded person, try opening your mind. Uh, try looking at at people as people as humans, um, not as not as skin tone. And uh, until next time, whatever you do, um, try to be a light and don't be a doofus. I love you all.